And here's to you, Mrs. Robinson Jilly loves you more than you will know Whoa, whoa, whoa An island, a Caribbean sea, salsa, rum, Fidel Castro La historia de mi abuela La religión, che La revolución cubana If you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain, if long story short, summer is a cool time to take a chill pill and go for holidays. Cuba is an amazing place with a lot of green sceneries with um, not such a good food but super cool drinks with interesting economy and with very warm and nice people and with old school cars of course First thing you need to be prepared for is that Cuba has two currencies one for local people and one for tourists Y aquí tenemos comandante Che. When you go to Cuba, you don't live in a hostels, you don't live in hotels. I mean, yeah, if you want to, if you want to spend a lot of money, then you can stay in a hotel, but you won't find many of them. You basically sleep in a place called Casas Particulares, particular houses in a literal translation. So they're basically houses of local people, and you stay with them. Um, price is usually fixed, people are paying $30 per room per night, but just between me and you, it's not so fixed. You can bargain, you can bargain for anything. But I, because I'm telling you, Cubans are like masters in giving you ridiculous prices that are from the mountains or from space or from, I don't know where from, are those prices. So just imagine they're saying like, mm, you know, $30 for paying for a shitty bike for six hours, for renting it, not for buying it. Renting a bike for... Oh, Everybody. The road is closed. And there's the Guardian. Otherwise, you will be... How to name it? Pesos less. Pesos less. Pesos less. Yes, you'll be pesos less. So, our first destination was, of course, Havana. Second, we went to Viñales, which is amazing, beautiful, super green national park. This is the view from our shower. How was your shower today? Where you can ride in caballos. And I love their local Casa de la Musica, so the music house. Um, which was really cool and very entertaining until somebody gave a mic to Uncle Frank. was Playa Larga There won't be dolphins giving a high five but still it's worth to go there for scuba diving Then we stopped in Cienfuegos uh, You know, personally you will survive without going there Next city was Trinidad <laughs> That is my favorite one, it's so beautiful, old architecture, we've been wandering for hours in this place and we've also seen a boy riding a horse who's not really anything different, anything weird in the situation unless that the boy was half naked and he was five. And the last place was Varadero, which is really cool if you want to just chill in like a villain, doing nothing, lie on the beach. What, what really moved me, what was really sad about Cuba was that the 
when, when Spanish people came to Cuba and they're conquering this part of the world, they decided to kill every single indigenous person from the Cuba, Cuban island. And that's why there's no other, no person who's like indigenously Cuban. People, everybody was replaced with African slaves. And that's the 90, 90 percent of the population. But overall, I totally recommend anyone going to Cuba. Thank you guys for watching. As you really and see you guys soon. I want to get a